Hi everyone, this is Bridget Adjuwadier from Theogony and I'm here doing a Women's History Month series at TC Williams High School. Women's History Month is a declared month where we honor women's contributions in history and contemporary society. And here we have TC Female Legends, a series here where we bring back TC past alumni and their work outside of high school. Here is Laura Strum, who works at PBS NewsHour and is a journalist and social media manager and also works with public relations. Kate Young is an illustrator and animator at Ishtrico Productions. Haley Southey is a C-SPAN camera operator and also does lighting and audio. And Natalie Moore works at NPR and does their website and product management. So for our first question, I really just want to know what got you interested in your field and why you are working in that field right now. So I've been doing art since I came out, but along the way I started falling in love with film and one high school project turned into another, turned into me getting into the production here. For me, it was kind of more of a whim. In ninth grade, I just decided to take TV production and to take journalism and just really wanted to see what that was about. And kind of through that, those courses, I discovered that I liked talking to people. I liked kind of figuring out how we live our lives and why. And so much of that why is what journalism is. And so I was very fortunate after college to get a job at PBS NewsHour, which kind of answers that why of the day's news. Why is President Trump doing this? Yeah. Why is the single mother from Iowa struggling to put food on her table? And kind of always searching for that answer is what kind of keeps me going in this industry. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I definitely didn't have really any clue as a high schooler what I wanted to do and um, wound up studying international studies in mm -hmm. undergrad at college. Um, kind of unsure what I wanted to do next and wound up um, taking a job at um, a tech startup that Obama created called the U.S. Digital mm -hmm. Service. Um, and it was kind of through there that I got involved in technology and became a product manager. Um, and then only the last couple year, uh, couple months, sorry, have I been at NPR. Um, so I was able to kind of use my tech skills um, to get into media, um, which is where I do product management at NPR now. Well, I, I actually studied film. And I, while I was in school and studying film, I kind of realized that what I liked about film was more of the social impact that it had. Mm -hmm. And so it made me kind of um, turn more towards, um, towards television, towards reaching a larger audience. And I kind of just got really lucky that I got a job at C-SPAN because to me, C-SPAN provides a public service and it is like the ultimate resource for, for journalists, for the public, for students. Um, and it provides transparency on what's happening in our government. And it's something that I feel really proud of. I can see what a great experience it's been for you guys to all come back after it's been so long and you've been off doing your own thing. So tell me what resources and teachers and opportunities that you had at TC helped you to get to where you are now. Yeah. Um, well, there's something funny. I was thinking about this on the way over that Lady Gaga on her press tour for her most recent movie, she said that if 100 people are in a room and 99 are against you and one is for you, that's how you end up doing great things. Mm -hmm. And that's really what the TV production class at TC was for me, was you know, you're a teenager, life's difficult, you have a lot of pressures from you know, academics and social, but having TV production kind of just gave me something to focus on and just really empowered me to keep answering that question of why the world is the way it is. And, explore that in a really great, fun environment. Yeah, definitely. I think um, one of the, taking TV production here was probably like the only experience that I've had in television where I felt like I wasn't experiencing like the burdens of like bias or, or anything like that. It was really just a, group of people who all were interested in television production and all got the same opportunity to learn it and experience it. And to me that was invaluable because it gave me the opportunity to build up my confidence. I think ultimately 
having women, we offer a very unique perspective. Yes. And having us come into a room and say, my perspective deserves to be heard and treat it with the same respect as like the traditional views of men is something that will forever be valuable in news um, and presenting different types of stories. If there is no representation, if there are these people not in there, you're getting a very narrow worldview. Like I can mm -hmm. speak as being a white woman, but I can also speak as being like a queer woman, a queer woman with disabilities, but I can't speak as being a transgender woman, I can't speak as being a woman of color. And the fact that I only have this part of this worldview makes me very, I try to be very conscious of embracing the other side of this worldview. Um, but the fact that it's branching out and I'm seeing so many more women coming up, and not only women coming up, but women like your age, yeah. like being like, this is what I want. And the fact that um, that wasn't available not that long ago uh, is so impactful and so amazing and so important to get that representation out there um, and to have more stories to tell. Mm -hmm. The diversity that you experience in the classrooms here yeah. at TC really um, made me realize that you know, I always want to be working on diverse teams. Um, I think that diversity is something that I really learned the value of here and make sure to have that in my future careers and workplaces. What impact do you all hope to have in your careers later on? I definitely believe that advertisement and media is how you change the world. It's the same line of thought as propaganda. Because if you like take a fashion advertisement, this is you're putting up someone who are like this is supposed to be the height of beauty to sell this jewelry, sell this perfume. But it's been a skinny white lady for so so long. Yeah. If you put up a woman uh, who is of color with different textured hair, who uh, of a different body type, and you're like this is the height of beauty and this is what you should, I feel like this propaganda you can adjust to like slowly change the world view and I've seen that happening honestly as we became to began to diversify we began to see this we're seeing it in oh gosh cartoons right now are such a great LGBT yeah. present in it more like, we just had the um first gay wedding in cartoons this year like in Steven Universe that's <laughs> huge that would have made it such a huge impact on me growing up if I had been able to see a queer relationship like that. Um, so I definitely feel like I've stepped in. I stepped in in wanting to be in advertising as part of it because I wanted to make an impact slowly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, and if my slowly is, I'm going to sneak that one person of color into this animation mm -hmm. and then slow key and that's subtle sneaky ninja <laughs> of like this person's obviously gay but you can't I can't you can't tell because it's <laughs> on social media and it's going through so fast and saying no to yeah. this racial stereotype that people don't really see as a racial stereotype I feel like that is the um impact that I can make as a small grain of sand in the big world mm -hmm. So how do you all try to represent and elevate other women in your work? Being there and reaching out and taking that step for someone under you, someone who you know, someone who you want to give a chance. I feel like that's a huge part of being an artist and being a woman and being a marginalized person is to look to the younger generation, look to the people at the side that you know have it and just like, let me give you that first stone. If, even if that's all I can give, at this moment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think for me, it's just showing up for other women. Uh, it doesn't matter how old they are, where they're coming from, what they've done before, show up for them and support them. Like if my friend is having a gallery opening and you know she's the only woman on the bill, I'm showing up and going to it. If it's in news media and we hire a news assistant who you know, is fresh out of college and maybe is just now figuring out what she wants to do in news, she's now on my team. Like, I don't care what experience mm -hmm. she has, she's now on my team. And I think that's the most impactful way to kind of yeah. support. I think it's also really important to give credit where credit's due, so mm -hmm. um, making sure that we're supporting women that we work with as well. Um, another thing is definitely I've had a lot of amazing mentors over the years, mm -hmm. um, so I try to kind of give back in that way and also be a mentor to people that are still trying to figure out what they want to do. Um, where I work in particular, so I work in field operations and that is a very, in the television 
industry, the field tends to be very male dominated. Yeah. And the production side tends to be a little bit more female. Uh, not dominated, but you see more women on the production side than in the field. And so um, we have kind of, the women who are in field operations have decided where I work that we are going to be in solidarity and we're going to support each other because it is so easy to be competitive yes. yeah. and to try and like subconsciously kind of like win the male, like be one of the <laughs> cool guys, you know, like be yeah. seen as like, oh yeah, like I'm not one of those women, like, you know, I can like laugh at like a really bad joke and, you know, it's so easy to, to fall into that. And I think that solidarity is is really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's not an easy thing. Yeah. Either. Yeah. that can make it not only sacrifice your job for that. That can be dangerous. And the fact that in this era people are becoming more comfortable and more able to stick mm -hmm. up like that is really yeah. huge. And honestly, empathy is a very big strength and something I've always genuinely admired in you. Um, because you are doing that extra emotional labor of looking out for people and that should be something that is in all industries more people looking out for people mm -hmm. no matter the gender and that's all that we have for this episode I want to thank my guests Laura Strum, Kate Young, Haley Southie and Natalie Moore for coming for this interview I want to thank the TCTV media crew and my audience for watching and have a great day <laughs>